Hello, I am Dr. Bishash. I am a doctor of this clinic. I confirm that you are Mr. Darren Chris, 40 year. Yes, doctor. Okay. I have come to know that you have a uh, weakness for last two months. Is it right? Yes, doctor. Uh, yes. Okay, so can you please tell me more details about that? Yes, doctor. Uh, for the last two months, actually, I think that I have been uh, feeling more and more weak. Okay. And... Uh, uh, I think I get tired whenever I do uh, want to do work for uh, whenever I want to do work, and uh, this is actually I I don't feel well now, and I also have I think that I have lost a bit weight, okay, uh, so and uh, so this is actually troubling me, doctor. I'm uh, sorry to hear that, and can you please tell me that where do you feel weakness all over the body or just I think all over the body, doctor. And uh, you mean weakness that is a lack of energy? Yes, doctor, lack of energy. And uh, did it start suddenly or gradually? I think, doctor, it's uh, gradually, doctor. And uh, do you think it is increasing? Doctor, it's, I think it's increasing. Do you feel any specific time of the day when you feel the weakness or all the time? There is no specific timing, doctor. I think uh, I, I feel weak whenever I want to do work. I feel weak. And anything, that, have you noticed that anything uh, brings your condition worse? Actually, whenever I want to start doing something like uh, I want to get up, okay, and so want to, and then go, try to go to a place, at that time I feel more weak, doctor. Can you give me an example for your weakness? Oh, well, actually, uh, I think I, sometimes I have some dizziness also when I uh, want to get up, okay, from standing position. That That's all. And at times I also feel weak. How can I describe that, doctor? I feel tired. Tired all, all, all the time or just uh, when you try to stand from the sitting position? At that time, I at times I feel dizzy, but I think I'm, uh, I'm feeling tired more almost many a times a day. And uh, when you do any job, you uh, feel the tiredness. Yeah. And uh, can you tell me that how severe is this condition? Not very severe, it's a bit irritating, doctor. And along with it, uh, you said that you have uh, lost a few kg weight. I think I think so. I haven't measured it. But I think that okay. and I might have lost. Any other symptom do you have? No. Any headache? No. Any changes in your vision? I have a notice, doctor. Any reaction in your body? Not rash, doctor, but I think that I have some some color, blackish color nowadays. And uh, who is part? I think over my mouth and also over my hands. And for how long? For two to three months, doctor. And is it increasing? I think so, doctor. I'm not quite sure. I think so. Any ulcer in your mouth or anywhere? No, doctor. No, ulcer, sorry. What you what told, doctor? Ulcer. I think, doctor, I don't know, but I have some pain in my mouth, I think. Okay, I'm going to look into that later. And uh, do you have any chest pain? No. Any cough? No. Any shortness of breath? No. How about your bowel work? Quite good, doctor. Water work? Good. Okay. Uh, uh, do you have any lump anywhere in your body? Not that I know. Any weakness? Doctor, I am weak, doctor. Any site of a specific site of your body? No, no, no. no. Do you have any past medical condition? Not that I know of. No, doctor. Okay. Uh, do you take any medication? No. Any of your family members have this type of condition? Well, uh, when I uh, told my uh, mother, he told that my father had, had this type of condition. And was he diagnosed with any condition or anything? No, 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 doctor. He wasn't diagnosed. Okay. Can I examine you and uh, take your history at this time? Yes, doctor. Can you show me your hair? You said that you have some uh, problem in your mouth. Can you show me your mouth? Yes. Okay, you have some uh, rash over your mouth. Is it painful? Yes, doctor. Okay. I'm going to uh, see your hands, okay? 
yes to see your pulse and i can see uh, see that your hands have somewhat uh, is your skin thick have you noticed any changes in your skin uh, i haven't noticed doctor actually i don't know okay. any, My... any, any pain in your hands no doctor okay and i think that uh, there are some pigmented spots okay Okay, and uh, may I know that uh, I, I want to uh, know this uh, blood pressure at this point. Okay, it's uh, uh, 110 by 70. And uh, postural draw? I think it's uh, 90 by 60. Okay, and uh, you would uh, like to see the, if, if this anemia? Mildly anemic. Okay. And after that, I want to uh, see the tummy if there is a uh, uh, pulpit the abdomen. Okay. Okay. I want to uh, see for any lumps. Okay. Two minutes remaining. Yes. Okay. Okay. And at this time, I am going to listen your back. Please take deep breathing and out through your mouth. Okay. This is uh, quite okay. Okay. And many of the two you drink alcohol? No, doctor. And do you uh, smoke cigarette? No. Okay, that is fine. May I know that what is your concern? Well, doctor, what's happening in with myself? Okay, and uh, one thing I want to ask before I answer the question that do you have any fever or night sweats? No, doctor. Okay, as I have taken your history and examined you, I think that you are suffering from a condition we call it uh, Edison's disease that is uh, mm. uh, most likely uh, affecting uh, mm. if we have, uh, hormone or a body product that is producing less than normal. So it cannot okay. maintain the uh, body's blood pressure and cannot maintain the body's uh, uh, work level stress so that you are uh, having this weakness and also feel uh, you feel the dizziness. Okay. And uh, for this, I need to uh, run some blood tests, some imaging tests, and after that, I can give you the best explanation that what is happening with you. Okay. Okay. And I think I can manage the one outpatient department, outpatient basis. And I am going to involve uh, the doctors from hormone doctors and uh, some other uh, also. I am going to uh, involve my consultant and your uh, ZP for your further evaluation. Okay. Okay, doctor. Okay. Well, uh, may I know, doctor, what, what about my problem in the mouth? Okay. Uh, actually, uh, you have a rash in your uh, mouth for that. And I need to know a personal question, if you don't mind. Yes, doctor. Okay. Uh, do you have any partner? Yes, doctor. And uh, is he male or female? The female, doctor. And any casual relationship? No, doctor. What are you asking, doctor? No casual relationship. Okay, time off. Okay. Okay. Uh, so what do you think your diagnosis is? Yeah, uh, I uh, think there's, uh, this uh, patient is suffering from Edison's disease and uh, this can be uh, related with uh, uh, or, uh, autoimmune uh, polyglandular syndrome and uh, most likely type 1. And I need oh. to uh, run, I, I, I have some also other differentials that uh, it can be a presentation of uh, uh, HIV. And uh, mm. so it can uh, be okay, mm. and also it can be a presentation of uh, autoimmune, other autoimmune. Okay, I cannot remember this. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. And uh, how would you like to investigate the patient? Okay, I'll uh, go for the complete blood count to see anemia and white blood cell count to see uh, the uh, level is raised or not, what uh, yeah. the level raised or not, then uh, inflammatory marker, CSR and uh, CRP. And after that, I will go for the uh, renal function test, especially some electrolytes, uh, with, uh, yeah. which I expected to be hyponatremia and hyperkalemia. And I also go for the uh, serum calcium level, which I expected to be raised. And after that, I will also go for the urinary electrolyte level. And after that, I will go for the uh, serum cortisol level and uh, uh, then uh, short synecton test and uh, long sinus synecton test and uh, mm -hmm. urinary cortisol level and after that i will go for the imaging test uh, uh like um, uh, ultrasonogram of the liver uh oh, sorry ultrasonogram of the abdomen with ct scan mm -hmm. of the adrenal gland and uh after, and also x-ray assist and uh, uh some special test like uh 21 high alpha hydroxylase 
antibody uh, level, then uh, I uh, can also go for the uh, genetic study. Okay, uh, okay. And how would you manage the patient? The first, I will uh, educate and counseling the patient. And uh, as I am suspecting this is a case of uh, autoimmune condition, I will also uh, uh, involve uh, the endocrinologist and uh, mm. And also after, uh, I also I will also involve uh, the genetic uh, counselor, mm. and also I will involve the physiotherapist. Okay. Okay. So actually, actually, uh, uh, thank you, doctor. You have done very well. Okay. Uh, so actually, you have actually covered more more or less all issues. So just uh, that that question, I think you should have asked. asked. In, in the history part that is uh, exposure history because okay because that could have been a uh, because you ruled out malignancy by lumps 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 uh, TB and also associated uh, autoimmune by asking about bowel problems okay about anemia this this can also be you, he, I told that my dynamic he didn't have bowel problem but he, it might be associated with pernicious celiac disease okay oral candidiasis and also I think primary hyperparathyroidism can be also be Involved as long as I can remember. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. So. Uh, Hypoparathyroid well, or in autoimmune. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, 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 uh, you ruled out those. But I think uh, if it had been a case of HIV, then you would have missed the case. Yes, I, I forgot uh, asking the as this patient has oral candidiasis, so I should have asked about the. Yes, because it, it was it was actually although uh, although I uh, refuted the claim of exposure history but if i had told it then you would have completely missed the case and i don't i think uh, the examiner would have cut down some marks for it significant yes, and okay. also i should have taken uh, i if i had time i should have taken other history any injectable drugs and any uh yeah, yeah. history any get yeah so i think uh this uh this was uh, this was well done, but this if, if if it had been HIV, then it could have been a disaster for you. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. So you can move on to the next case. Can I start? Yes. Hello, I am Dr. Vishyas. I am a doctor of this clinic. Uh, may I confirm your name and age, please? Yes. I am Dylan McDermott, 62 years. Okay, Mr. Uh, I got a letter from your GP saying that you have low back pain for last six months. Is it right? Yes, doctor. Okay. So can you please tell me in more details what has happened to you? Well, doctor, uh, actually... <laughs> For the last six months, I have been uh, suffering from some problem, doctor. Uh, I think that um, it started very gradually. I had some pain in my back. Uh, at, the, at the beginning, I didn't take consider it seriously. But as the days are progressing, doctor, I think it's gradually increasing. And uh, although I'm a retired person now, but I uh, want to uh, take my grandchildren from and to school, actually. And... Due to this pain, I think I am getting a bit hampered. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. And can you please show me the exact site? Where do you feel the pain? I think, doctor, it's exactly in the in the back, in, in the lower back. And the mid side, mid midline, or was it midline, doctor? It's midline. Okay. And you said it is started gradually and it is progressing nowadays. Okay. Yes, doctor. And, yes. Uh, do you feel the pain every day? Doctor, uh, almost every day, doctor, now. Can you please uh, say me that, uh, wh how do you feel the pain? What is the feeling, the feeling of your pain? Uh, doctor, it's, it's uh, quite, uh, at the beginning it was dull aching, but nowadays I think it's getting a bit severe. Although it's aching, dull aching, but I think it, it's getting... Is it the first time or uh, you have this before? No, doctor, in the last six months, doctor. Uh, have you got any injury to your back before that? No, doctor, no injury. Okay. Does this pain go anywhere? No, doctor. Okay. Uh, along with this pain, have you noticed any redness or swelling over the area? 
No, doctor. No redness on those particular. Any weakness in any of legs? No, doctor. Any changes in the sensation of your legs? No sensation change, doctor. Any uh, problem with your bowel habit? Uh, I've not noticed, doctor. I have not noticed. Okay, uh, and uh, have you noticed any changes in your water work? Oh yes, doctor. That's another thing issue. I think uh, that's another issue. I think that I have to go more frequently for my water work uh, for the last one year, doctor. And recently, I also have noticed that I have some frothiness while doing my water work. Okay, and uh, have you uh, need to uh, wake up at night? Yes, doctor. At times, I have need to wake up right nowadays. Okay. And uh, uh, do you uh, feel any incomplete evacuation after passing your water? I don't feel any, doctor. And how uh, frequently you have to wake up at night? Uh, once or twice, not every night. At times. How about your thirst? I think it has increased, doctor. Okay. And I am coming to your uh, back pain, and after that, I am going uh, that later. Okay. And, uh, and you, since you told about back pain, I also would like to tell that at times I feel also some tummy pain. Okay. In my groin region. Not always. Not along with back pain, it does not spread to that side. But uh, at times I feel some separate pain in my tummy in the groin region. Okay. And have you noticed that anything makes your tummy pain worse or better? I haven't noticed, doctor. Okay, and uh, for your back pain, uh, do you uh, feel pain at night? Doctor, actually, I think uh, there is, uh, I feel the pain almost all the time, more or less, okay? But it's usually a bit more when I do some work. And uh, at night, after getting up, I think I feel a bit relaxed. Okay, and any morning jamming, have you noticed? Uh, doctor, very uh, not significant, doctor. I haven't noticed significant. Okay, and after that, uh, have you ever uh, noticed anything that makes your back pain worse or better? No, doctor. Just uh, I have tried with some makes it pain killer, but it didn't didn't work. And uh, working makes uh, your uh, pain more worse. I think it's. I think. So. And uh, can you please tell me that how much severe your pain? Where you would say that one is the least pain, and ten is the highest pain you have. I think it's five to six. And uh, do you have any past medical condition? No, doctor. Okay. And uh, do you have any headache? Uh, no, doctor. Any changes in your vision? No. Any rash in your body? No. Any cough or shortness of breath? Oh, doctor, that's... Uh, I don't know whether it's related or not, but I think that recently I am uh, facing more chest infections. In the last two, two years, I think I have had six to seven chest infections, but I didn't have this type of infections before. Okay. Have you seek any medical attention for that? No, doctor, I didn't uh, seek any about that. Any uh, test was done for your chest infection? Sorry? Any test? No, doctor, actually, uh, I take some uh, medication from our local pharmacy and it actually goes away. Okay. Have you ever... Have you ever coughed? No. Uh, cough, I sometimes say cough, but there is no, no nothing comes out. Right, sir. Okay. And uh, can you tell me more about your weight? Have you noticed any changes in your weight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, my doctor, my clothes are getting looser day by day. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. And how about, how about your appetite? Okay, I think it's uh, quite right. Okay. And... Uh, Oh, okay, I am uh, going for. Uh, do you have any uh, lumps or bumps in your body? No, no. Okay. And uh, may I know that? Uh, do you take any medication? Doctor, I take some medication for uh, this pain reduction, but I don't think it, it works. Okay. And uh, at this point, uh, may, may, may I know that? Uh, do you, any of your family member have this type of condition? No, doctor. Any history of cancer in your family? I don't know. Okay. And is it okay if I examine you now? Yes, doctor. Okay, I want to see your hands uh, for any uh, signs of rheumatological condition. And uh, at the time, I want to measure the pulse. Pulse is uh, quite okay. And uh, is blood pressure? Okay. 
then I want to see uh, the eyes if there is any anemia. My anemic. Okay, and at this time, I want to listen your back, okay? Yeah. Uh, no, no, nothing abnormal. Okay, and at this time, I want to uh, see your tummy if there is any lumps is present or not. No, no, no lumps. Okay, and uh, may I uh, see your back? Yeah, you can see. Okay, any uh, uh, swelling? No swelling. Any tenderness over the spine? Uh, some mild tenderness in the lumbar, lumbar region. Okay. And at this time, can you show me how you walk? Walking is quite normal. Okay, two minutes remaining. Okay, at this time, uh, can I uh, examine your legs for a plantar replacement? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Plantar is normal, reflex is normal. Okay. And uh, sensation, I want to see the sensation if you can. Uh, as, uh, uh, yes, it is quite okay. Okay. And uh, I need to uh, examine at this point, uh, do the digital rectal examination and also uh, need to. Ex uh, need... It is normal in the digital rectal examination. Okay. And uh, at this point, may I know that do you smoke cigarette? No. And uh, do you drink alcohol? No, doctor. And uh, may I know that what is your concern? Well, doctor, what's happening with me? I'm, I'm very worried. Okay, uh, as I have uh, taken your history, it uh, seems likely that you have, you might have some fracture in the, uh, in the bone of your spine, okay? And okay. Uh, sometimes, uh, I think that it can also be related uh, to your cyst infection that you have suffering from a uh, recurrent cyst infection. Okay. For this, I need to uh, run some test urgently and after the test results come I can make an appointment with you and uh, after the results come I will make an appointment okay okay doctor okay, okay. and uh, uh well uh, any other question is it, is it anything serious doctor uh I am uh, I afraid to say that it might be something serious but we need to uh, run some test first Okay. Okay, doctor. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, I think the time's up. Yes. Uh, so, what's your diagnosis in the patient? Okay. Uh, for this uh, gentleman, my uh, I have few differentials that it can be a uh, 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 osteoporotic fracture. Uh, sorry, it can be a uh, metastasis uh, in the spine due to carcinoma of the lung or due to carcinoma of the prostate and mm -hmm. uh, then uh, it can also be a case of uh, discitis that uh, is are, uh, associated with his history of recurrent cyst infection. Mm. I also consider that this can be a case of osteoporotic fracture. Okay. Uh, can you relate that okay that uh, the patient has anemia, okay? Yes. I told it. The patient has some frothiness in the urine and increased frequency of urine, okay? And he also has some tummy pain, okay? So can you please relate that? Is, can, can it be relatable? Tummy pain in the growing region? Uh, yes, it can. Uh, we also that uh, sometimes uh, it can be a uh, case of uh, which is uh, related with hypercalcemia, uh, hypercalcemia that is uh, hypercalcemia causing uh, pain in the groin or any uh, calcium, uh, ureter, calcium, ureter or renal. Okay. And can you please, uh, can you relate that hypercalcemia causing weight loss, recurrent chest infections and low back pain? Uh, actually, uh, for recurrent chest infection, I am suspecting that this can be a case of uh, carcinoma of the lung that is uh, producing uh, parathyroid hormone-like uh, Okay. Products okay. Uh, you, okay. okay, okay, that's all right. That's all right. I, I can accept it. Uh, can you think about multiple myeloma? Uh, yes, <laughs> multiple myeloma. Can we also? Multiple yes, multiple myeloma has paraproteinemia. Okay, for paraproteinemia, uh, paraproteinemia. In case of paraproteinemia, there is functional immunoglobulin deficiency. Okay, so when there is functional immunoglobulin deficiency, there can be repeated chest infection. And it can also be a presentation in multiple myeloma. And usually, 
that renal insufficiency involvement i told that actually this is for around one year usually renal involvement a lot of times can occur previous okay in multiple myeloma okay as long as i know and uh, usually after we start that bortezomib or that velcate therapy in multiple myeloma it improves drastically this renal function okay yes and yes so that can be important and the patient can also suffer from normal cytokine normal chromic anemia that is also important actually i gave all clues there for hypercalcemia yes and I, like, have... I, i totally forgot the multiple myeloma <laughs> okay and actually when you told about specifically uh, about lung uh, symptoms i actually clearly told that no nothing comes out or nothing like that okay uh, so uh, to so that it could have been clearer but okay that's all right uh, now uh, can you uh, you what you have told that that's not wrong they are also correct uh, now can you please tell me what investigations would you like to do okay uh, for this gentleman i will go for the complete blood count to any uh, to see anemia and to uh, white blood cell count level if they are increased or not then inflammatory markers then uh, renal function test uh, like serum urea electrolytes and serum creatinine and including serum uh, calcium levels uh, serum phosphate level and uh, serum uh, thyroid hormone levels mm-hmm. and uh, after that i will also uh, go for the x ray of uh, lumbosacral spine and also mri of the lumbosacral mm-hmm. spine and mm-hmm. uh, along with it i will go for the ultrasonogram study of the prostate and uh, after that i and also i will uh, go for urine for routine examination uh, with uh, especially seeing for the uh, benzos protein and uh, serum okay. hemoglobin levels okay serum and urine protein electrophoresis okay yes and bone marrow test for going looking for monoclonal plasma cells yes. okay and uh, uh, in this patient uh, there might not be I, i'm not sure whether it's detail detail total in detail in the book but immunoglobin the globulin levels should also be checked okay in, the, in this multiple myeloma patient okay okay uh, and okay and uh, Uh, how would you like to treat the patient yeah uh, first uh, educating and counseling the patient then it is a multidisciplinary approach i will uh, involve uh, the uh, rheumatologist mm. and also i will uh, involve uh, the uh, physiotherapist and uh, also i will uh, involve uh, the multi specialty team with a uh, gp for uh, his follow up and also i uh, will involve the nephrologist Okay. Okay. Do you want to, to, to give him anything for operation? Okay. If you are operational health therapist, if uh, it is a uh, risk of any weight bearing age or any weight bearing of. Okay. Uh, can you think of a beast for fitness? Yes. Ah, uh, for um, uh, treatment. Ah, uh, there are certain treatments like ah, uh, calcium ah uh, replacement and also. going for so, the there are some protocols also and you will actually involve the blood doctor the bone doctor all the protocol okay 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 so i think that was well but uh, i think uh, i think you should have got the case okay yes, i i it, it was a big huge mistake that not adding uh, not thinking about multiple myeloma i, I totally it went out of my mind that you know, there was a con- there is a condition named multiple myeloma Yeah, yeah, no, no. Actually, what happened when I studied also, when I study also, I all already think that okay, metastasis, metastasis, metastasis. But uh, many a times I just forget about multiple myeloma. I myself do this thing. Oh, we rule out all other symptoms <laughs> to check the primary source of lung can- of cancer. But most of the times I we miss that. But I actually clearly, very clearly told you that there is polyuria symptoms and actually yes, for yes. lung cancer. It's, it 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 should be squamous if there is hypercalcemia feature yes. and it's actually there would have been i think quite hemoplasis or these features would have been present i think okay yes yeah. this was so, actually a totally uh, clear case but i missed because i uh, i i was out of yeah, yeah, yeah. but but okay okay oh, it's all right but 